This year's National Book Week is nothing we've ever experienced before. The shelves of all Israeli bookstores are now filled with books written about the October 7th massacre. Today, we decided to meet with Alan Pencil, the author of the book Testimonies Without Boundaries, which tells the stories of those who survived the darkest day in the history of the State of Israel. The book contains over 60 testimonies, most of them exclusive ones that haven't yet been exposed, that even the Israeli public itself has not yet been exposed to, that it is not yet aware of, obviously not the international community. The testimonies basically come from Zaka volunteers, from Israel's Medical Forensic Institute, where the bodies that have not been identified are examined. Nova survivors, those who survived the festival and basically lost their beloved ones. And many more testimonies of those who were part of the most difficult, complicated, horrific day in the history of the State of Israel. The purpose is to distribute it worldwide as much as possible and to get to the most important institutions such as the UN and the White House and parliaments all over the world. The process was very complicated, to say the least. Not only for me, obviously, also for the ones who gave the testimonies. It was very close to the events. During the book, I also described the interaction I have during the interviews with the people giving me the testimonies. How I feel about asking these unsensitive questions and also the reactions of those people. I've seen beheaded people and I've seen dead bodies. I think that this event basically wakes us all up. It tells us exactly how cruel people can be. I would say that I'm also in cooperation with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the Ministry of Disapura and the Israeli organization called Israelis. The book is very significant mainly because it is uncensored. It tells the very true story of October 7th. The ministries that I described have already purchased thousands of copies in English in order to distribute the book in over 100 countries all over the world globally. I've sacrificed my mental soul, my mental health during the last eight months for the State of Israel. Now I'm expecting everyone to take this book and distribute it as much as they can to make sure that people are exposed to the atrocities. This is our reality. And I'm going to make sure no one is able to deny it.